The United Auto Workers Union may expand its strike again today. A source with the union tells NBC News the union's president will likely announce a new round of strike targets later this morning. Jen DeSalvo is in Hegwish with the very latest. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Kate. And a local union representative has suggested that the chances of a strike at the Chicago assembly plant for Ford here on the south side of the city is high today. So the past two weeks, we've seen several assembly plants and parts and distribution plants shut down, shut down. And now today at 11 o'clock central time, the chances of those workers walking out of the Ford Chicago assembly plant are pretty high. Now they've been working at business as usual at Chicago's Ford assembly plant on the south side, but that could change if negotiations haven't been productive. Two weeks ago, 12,700 workers, they walked out of three assembly plants. A week later, progress with Ford, but not with Stellantis or GM. And the president of the UAW called for more plants to go on strike when he called for workers to strike at 32 GM and Stellantis parts distribution plants. Now more time bought for workers at the Ford Chicago assembly plant. We're still on standby for a possible strike, but right now it's the parts plants for GM and Stellantis across the U.S. will be on strike. Um, those parts plants will eventually starve out the dealerships on parts and the trickle effect will continue from there. Yeah, the trickle effect meaning even services like yearly maintenance or oil changes could eventually reach a halt at local GM and Stellantis dealers. As of last week, negotiations with Ford brought back the cost of living allowance, which has been gone for a decade and a half. Additionally, a new profit sharing formula added benefits for temporary employees and more. But there still are several sticking points, including wages and pensions. And we don't know where negotiations are as of today, but that is something we expect to find out soon after daybreak when we also find out if the Ford Chicago assembly plant will be walking out. I'm Jen DeSalvo, back to you in the studio.